Hello, everybody. Thanks a lot for your interest in this presentation. My name is Wen Bin Yu, the CTO of Anna Swift. In this presentation, I will provide a brief introduction to SwiftCon as a unified approach for composite modeling. The major modern challenge of composites is their multi-scale nature. Composites are made of fibers, which has a diameter of a few microns, much smaller than human hair. We use these composites to make uh, structures, which are, which are usually in the order of meters. It is impossible to model all the details in the structure analysis of a realistic structure. We have to find a way to compute the equivalent composite properties as inputs for the design and analysis at the structure scale and use the loads computed at the structure scale to figure out what happens at the material scale. The traditional modeling approach is a button-up approach. For example, to analyze a composite laminate, we use micromechanics to compute the laminar constants in terms of a microstructure containing fiber and matrix. Then the laminar constants are used as inputs in a structure mechanics model to perform structure analysis. Besides various assumptions involved in different micromechanics and the structure mechanics models, the fundamental scale separation assumption is also implicitly used so that we can separate micro scale, meso scale, and structural scale. Scale separation assumption works okay for the global behavior such as displacements, vibration, frequencies, and others. If there is a significant difference between the different scales. However, it uh, will create difficulty for predicting the local stress, strains, and failures at the smaller scales. If there is no clear scale differences, such as uh, honeycomb sandwich, stru sandwich structures, then the scale separation assumption will not, be, will not work even for the global responses. To avoid the potential issues of button-up modeling, we can approach this problem from the system perspective. A real structure, no matter how complex, can be modeled as a combination of 3D structures if all three dimensions are of similar size. Or 2D plates and shells if one of the dimensions is much smaller than the other two, or beans if two of the dimensions are much smaller than the third one, or thin world beans if all the dimensions are all of magnitude different. They, those idealized structure components are modeled using 3D solid elements, plate and shell elements, and beam elements. Therefore, the focus of composite modeling is to make sure those structure elements can accurately represent the real structure, given the material microstructure, which we would like to consider as input, and uh, then which model and elements we would like to used in the global structure analysis. We need to model the information loss between these two model representations. We created a theory called the mechanics of structure genome and the corresponding code called SwiftCon. SwiftCon provides a formal framework that does not exclusively rely on direct information passing across in scales, but rather operates from the homogenized behavior capturing details as skills relevant to particular design needs. To use SwiftCon, we need to first decide the structure gene, which is defined, which is defined as smallest mathematical building block of the structure. If we are using 3D elements, we can choose 1D, 2D, or 3D SGs. If it is a laminate, we laminate then we can use 1D SG. If it's made of well, unidirectional fiber reinforced composites, we can use a 2DSG. If it is a woven composite, we can use a 3DSG. SwiftCon performs homogenization over these SGs to compute the effective 3D properties as inputs for 3D structure analysis. After the structure analysis, SwiftCon also performs dehomogenization over the ST to compute the local stresses and strains and failure studies. 
it is worthwhile to point out the difference between SwiftCon and the RVE analysis. First, SwiftCon is simpler because the user are not required to apply boundary conditions. No pre and post processing is needed. SwiftCon is also faster because it's the same analytical method and converges faster than RVE analysis. SwiftCon can compute the 3D properties and local fields out of 1D, 2D, or 3D SDs. For example, to compute 3D properties of fiber reinforced composites, RVE need a 3D block, but if you use SwiftCon, only two-dimensional domain will be necessary. Then SwiftCon can also compute the complete set of 3D properties using one analysis. But if you use RVE analysis, you have to use at least six analysis to compute the complete set of 3D properties. You do one analysis along a certain direction, get the properties along certain directions. SwiftCon is, more, is also more versatile because it's a single theory for all heterogeneous materials. Could be periodic, partially periodic, or periodic materials. The ST can have arbitrary shifts, not like RVE analysis. It must be rectangular or cubic. And this, uh, this method is also more accurate. It can reproduce the RVE analysis with periodic boundary conditions and asymptotic homogenization for 3D periodic materials. For other situations like partial periodic or periodic materials, they will always achieve the best accuracy because we use the principle of minimal information loss. For structures with one dimension much smaller than two other dimensions, we model then use plate and shear elements. Depending on the microstructure, the ST can also be chosen correspondingly. 1D for laminate, 2D for plate and shells featuring heterogeneity in one implant direction, 3D SD for plates and shells with heterogeneity in both implant directions. So it can performs homogenization to compute the equivalent plate and shell properties as inputs for the two-dimensional plate and shell analysis. After plate and shell analysis, so it can performs dehomogenization to predict the 3D local fields within the original structure. Last, for being next structures, we use being elements for the structure analysis. The SD can be chosen to be the cross-section if the structure can be modeled as made of piecewise constant cross-sections or 3D block if the beam is also heterogeneous along the beam reference line. So we've gone homogenize this ST to produce equivalent beam properties for the beam analysis, then perform dehomogenization to compute the local stresses, strains, and failure indexes within the ST after obtaining the loads from the beam analysis. We can see that no matter whether it's a 3D structure, plate shell, shell or beam, so it can follows the same procedure for all these structures. This is the very reason why we call it as a unified modeling approach. We have integrated SwiftCon with Abacus, one of the most popular FEA codes. This picture shows the modeling of a plane wave composites and an interlock composite using Abacus CAE powered by SwiftCon. We have also integrated SwiftCon with ANSYS, one of the most popular FEA codes. This picture shows the modeling of a meta material using ANSYS and with SwiftCon plugin. We have also integrated SwiftCon with Python Nastran, a popular FEA course uh, in the aerospace industry. In the past, Nastran can only deal with unidirectional fiber reinforced composites. Now it can deal with arbitrary microstructures such as, such as woven composites. As a conclusion, SwiftCon provides a top-down structure modeling framework that models relevant structure behavior in terms of microstructure details as needed and affordable. On the right, they, we list a few typical structure genes we have worked on using SwiftCon. We can use SwiftCon to perform virtual testing of materials and structures featuring an arbitrary microstructure. We can also link SwiftCon with a FEA code for model scale modeling of structures. 
This is the end of the presentation. Thank you for your attention.